Hello and welcome to our video on special right triangles. In this video, we'll focus on the case for the 30, 60, 90 degree special right triangles. Okay? When you're dealing with 30, 60, 90 special right triangles, you want to take into consideration the following two relationships. The first one, hypotenuse, it's always going to be equal to two times the length of the short leg. The second relationship you probably want to know is the following. The long leg will have a le length equal to the length of the short leg times the square root of 3. Okay. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at example 1. Find the lengths of the missing sides. Okay. Let me start off by labeling the missing angles. Okay. So since we're dealing... Um, in the Euclidean geometry world, this will be 60, that will be 90, and this will have to be 30 because in Euclidean geometry, the sum of interior angles in a triangle will be 180, okay? Now, with that said, we need to start labeling the legs and the hypotenuse. The leg across from your 30-degree angle is what we refer to as the short leg. Now, the leg across from your 60 degree angle is what we refer to as the long leg. And the side across from your 90 degree angle is what we refer to as the hypotenuse. Okay? Now, using those labels and using our relationships, we can go ahead and do the following. Hypotenuse in this case is x, so let me substitute that in there. And that's equal to 2 times the short leg. The short leg in here measures uh, 3 units, so we have that x is just 2 times 3, which happens to be 6. Okay, so that's a value for x. Okay, now to solve for y, we are going to use a second relationship. Long leg in this case is y, so let me go ahead and substitute that in. And then the short leg measures 3 units, so this is 3 times the square root of 3, which comes from the formula. And that will allow you to get the values for both of your unknowns. Okay, so this particular side will have a length of three square root a square root of three units, and this particular side will have a length of six units. Okay. Let's see another example. Example two: find the lengths of the missing sides. Okay. Once again, let me go ahead and label the parts here. This is uh, a 30 degree angle, that's a 90 degree angle. The sum of interior angles in Euclidean uh, geometry is 180, so this must be 60 then, okay? Keep in mind that the, the side across from your 30 degree angle is going to be your short leg. The one across from your 90 degree angle will be your long leg. And the one across from your um, 90 degree or angle or right uh, angle will be what we refer to as your hypotenuse. Okay. Now, notice we already have the labels. Let's establish the relationships here. Okay. Hypotenuse is equal to two times the short leg and uh, the long leg is equal to short times the square root of three. Okay, so let's see, the hypotenuse in this case is x, so x is equal to 2 times the short leg. Short leg in here, it's y, so I'm going to just leave it f like that for now, x is equal to 2y. Now, let me jump into the second relationship, and into the second relationship, we have the following. Long leg is equal to short times the square root of 3. The long leg here happens to be square root of 3. Now, my short leg happens to be y, so let me go ahead and write y times square root of 3, coming from the directly from the formula. Now, I need to get y by itself, so let me go ahead and divide by the square root of 3 on both sides. And square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3 is 1. 1 times y will give you the y. So y is equal to square root of 3 divided by square root of 3, which is 1. Okay, so y is equal to 1. Okay. Now, I can go ahead and backtrack a little bit, and I can substitute in y equals 1 into this equation 
to be able to get the value for x. So x is equal to 2 times 1, which means that x must be equal to 2. Okay. So notice you will have the value for x and you will have the value for y here. Okay. Once again, make sure you're careful in terms of the labels here and make sure that you know these two relationships for the 30, 60, 90 special right triangles. Okay. Now, let's finish up with the last example here. So example three, find the lengths of the missing sides. Well, here this angle is 30. That's a 90 degree angle. Therefore, this must be 60 degrees. Let me go ahead and label the components here. So this one, the length across or the side right across from your 30 degree angle is what we refer to as the short leg. Now the side uh, right across from your 60 degree angle is what we refer to as your long leg and the side right across from your 90 degree angle is what we refer to as your hypotenuse okay now let's keep in mind the two relationships that we have established before so hypotenuse is equal to two times the short leg and our second relationship is that the long leg is equal to the short times the square root of 3. Okay? So let's take a look at what we're given. Hypotenuse in this case is 4, so let me go ahead and write 4 is equal to 2 times the short. My short leg is a V. Let me solve for V by dividing by 2 on both sides here. And I can get that V is equal to 2 because 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, now my long leg here is U, okay, but I already know that V was uh, 2, that's why I wrote it in there, so this will be U is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. Notice that will give you your value for U, okay. Hence, in order for us to solve um, this particular type of problems, you want to be able to make sure that um, you label the components here, the parts, and make sure you know these two relationships, okay? So that will conclude this tutorial on special right triangles, focusing on the 30, 60, 90 special case. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in your homework. Bye-bye.